Russia develops low-flying cargo plane. A cargo plane designed to fly just above the ground and capable of carrying huge loads is under development in Russia. The new ground effect vehicle would be able to carry up to 500 tons of cargo in a single trip, running on fuel-efficient liquefied natural gas. The low-flying aircraft would fly over the ground, water, or ice at heights of 3 to 12 meters above the surface. The ground effect vehicle has short, wide wings that trap air between the aircraft and the ground. This creates downdrafts that produce less drag and greater lift force than other fixed-wing aircraft, allowing the plane to carry bigger loads with less fuel. Russia has a tradition of developing low-flying ground effect vehicles, also known as Ikronoplan. The Soviet Union built several of these giant low-flying aircraft in the 1970s and 80s. Perhaps the best-known example was this 544-ton experimental vehicle. Nicknamed the Caspian Sea Monster by Western intelligence, it was the largest aircraft in the world when it was built in 1966. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories about airplane technology. Detachable airplane cabin could save lives. How do you survive a plane crash? In a detachable cabin, at least according to the Russian engineer behind the invention. After working on the project for three years, Vladimir Tatarenko released his designs for a life-saving plane cabin that could parachute passengers to safety. Tatarenko's invention is a separate passenger cabin that can be attached and detached from the main aircraft. Underneath the cabin is a storage space for luggage, and the roof of the cabin houses parachutes, which would be released automatically when the cabin detaches in an emergency, whether during takeoff, mid-flight, or landing. The capsule can land on both ground and water, with boosters and inflatable rubber tubes helping to cushion the impact and get passengers and crew to safety. With fewer than 500 people dying from plane crashes in any given year, the technology has received mixed reactions from people commenting online. The world's largest aircraft is about to take its first official flight. UK startup Hybrid Air Vehicles has developed the Airlander 10, reportedly the largest airplane in the world. The plane has about 20 hours of flight testing left and could be flying within weeks. The company has recently received clearance to fly the airship from the airfield at Cardington, Bedfordshire. The plane is being kept there in the UK's largest airplane hangar. Originally developed in partnership with Northrop Grumman for a now defunct US Army program, Airlander 10 is now being built as an aircraft capable of both commercial and military uses. The Airlander 10 could potentially carry sightseers, surveillance equipment, or special cargo. The airship is 302 feet long, 143 feet wide, and 83 feet high. It weighs 44,100 pounds. The envelope is filled with 1.34 million cubic feet of helium and gives the Airlander 10 a significantly lower carbon footprint than other forms of air transport. In comparison, the Hindenburg used 7.062 million cubic feet of hydrogen, which is much heavier than helium. Helium is also non-flammable. The shape of Airlander 10's envelope was designed to increase lift efficiency by 40%. Its structure creates a balance between economic flight, operational flexibility, range, and payload. The airship is equipped with four propellers, two at the back, one on the front left, one on the front right. These propellers provide vectored thrusts from four V8 turbo diesel engines. Much like a helicopter, the Airlander can take off and land vertically without the need for a tarmac runway. Airlander 10 can stay airborne for up to five days at a time if manned and for over two weeks unmanned. It has a 10-ton capacity, allowing it to carry roughly 48 passengers. Hybrid Air Vehicles hopes to be building 12 of these airships a year by 2018. The airship operated in a test flight for the first time in Lakehurst, New Jersey in August 2012 for the US military. However, the program was canceled in 2013. Earlier this month, Airlander 10 was officially named Martha Gwynn by the Duke of Kent. Previously, it was known as the Flying Bum. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. 
Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the city Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and city Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Futurists pin flying car hopes on electric VTOL vehicles. Ever since the Jetsons, we've looked forward to the promise of flying cars, but it's not just a Hollywood dream anymore. Several companies hope to bring electric VTOL vehicles to the skies. That's VTOL for vertical takeoff and landing. Imagine leaving the office after a long day's work. You get to your VTOL vehicle parked on the roof of your office. Within minutes, you're soaring above skyscrapers and busy commuter traffic. There are no traffic jams for you. A half hour later, you're at your luxury villa by the beach. Sound far-fetched? It's not if you're Google co-founder Larry Page. This is a photo of what's believed to be the first electric VTOL vehicle from Z.Aero, which Page is funding. Lilium Jet is another electric VTOL craft aimed at the masses. This S2 from Joby Aviation will get you there in style. Even ride-sharing service Uber thinks one day passengers will take VTOLs to work. Hopefully that day won't be too much longer. Remember the Jetsons envisioned flying cars more than 50 years ago. An engineer from Austria, Stefan Klein, has invented a car that is able to unfold a pair of wings and take off into the air. The Aeromobile measures 6,000 millimeters long and 1,600 millimeters wide. It can seat up to two people and weighs 450 kilograms. The vehicle's top speed on the ground is 160 kilometers an hour and can travel a distance of 500 kilometers, which is roughly 1,250 times around an Olympic racetrack. The collapsible wings measure 8,200 millimeters across. The vehicle must reach 130 kilometers an hour for takeoff. During flight, the aeromobile is able to reach speeds of 200 kilometers an hour and can travel a distance of 700 kilometers in the air, roughly 1,750 times around an Olympic racetrack. Klein hopes to bring this technology to a larger market.